What we're going to do now is create some multilingual panel pages. Now panel pages let us pin nodes of content to the panel as we wish. Working with this in multilingual settings is a little more complicated so we go through this. I think this may well be the sort of video that you want to pause at various stages and then try things out for yourself. So we go to content because we're signed in as ever and this time we're going to add some content we're going to create a panel now we normally we're going to use responsive panels because these work really well on uh, mobile phones and tablets and we're going to choose a, um, a two column brick layout one of my favorite layouts no other reason it works really really well and we're going to make this uh, content all about wildlife so we type in wildlife I don't want it to be language neutral I want it to be in English I almost said Welsh now I'm going to leave a lot of these settings exactly the same so a standard renderer we're going to provide a menu link, we're going to call it wildlife and uh, let's make it this one heavy, make sure it sinks all the way down to the bottom we could give this a weight of uh, 10, no particular reason, you can always drag these menus around later but that's what I've just decided to do so click save and we have a beautiful page with absolutely nothing on it just called wildlife now a little quirk on this uh, particular type of content is that the content can be um, comprising of all sorts of different nodes and the usual translated technique does not work so you can click away and you'll think oh dear nothing's happening and that's because nothing's happening so we have to use a slightly different technique to create our translated page so what we're going to do now we're going to create the other half of the panel page the Welsh half manually so we're going to go to content and we're going to add content and we're going to add a panel then it doesn't actually have to be exactly the same um, uh, layout either. We've got an enormous amount of freedom here, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to make it the same AT responsive panel. Now, I can never remember what's Welsh for wildlife, so I'm just going to copy and paste it because that's a complete cheat and it works for me. And I don't want the number two, so I'm going to just edit that out. So I now have my little Welsh title here and I'm going to provide a menu link. Again, whoops, almost forgot I must set my language to be Welsh. I'm sure you spotted me there. Make the weight 10 again, nice and heavy, so they sit next to each other and we're going to now save. Now what we have to do now is an extra little step to tell the system that wildlife and its matching Welsh counterpart are indeed translations of one another because it doesn't actually know that. Yes, if I click on Welsh it appears uh, but they're not actually tied together at the moment so what we have to do, we go to Structure and that was a real gotcha actually because you think oh it's going to work but it's not quite there uh, so we go to structure now we're in a high level menu here we've got a list of all the different menus available and what we want to do is add a translation set you only have to do this in menus and the reason why you're working at this level and not inside the menu is because a translation may be across different menus it kind of makes sense if you think about it we're going to add a translation and on the 
the main menu we are going to have in Welsh our Welsh and on English don't worry about the disabled this is just really telling us which language is currently selected on the main page again it's a bit of a gotcha don't worry about that but just click save and now if we revisit the translation set we will see that the system now completely understands where the translation is this undefined well if you see anything undefined you can just delete it it really doesn't matter just delete that and that's it we now have our basic panel page in place click home and when we flick between English and Welsh the panel page will appear in the uh, in the menu and will under and the system will understand wh which content is a translation of what